I get to go to work every day, figure out what I think is the most interesting question to ask about the universe and then try and solve it. My name is Tamara Davis and I'm a professor of astrophysics at the University of Queensland. So I am an astrophysicist and specifically I study cosmology, which is the universe as a whole. So I try and understand the laws of physics, where they come from and how they work using the biggest experiments that we can find up in space. So on a day-to-day -day basis, I basically get to chat with some of my PhD students and postdocs about cool science stuff, like maybe how does this galaxy work or how do we think this supernova explodes? Then go back to my office and do some computer programming and try and make a computer simulate the things that we're trying to calculate from up in space. It's very, very varied. No one day is the same. So this is our remote control room for the Anglo-Australian Telescope. All these little windows here are actually windows that are mirrored in the real control room of the telescope, which is near Coonabarabran in the middle of New South Wales. With these, I can make the telescope move and take pictures of cool galaxies and exploding stars and things that I see up in the sky and turn it into something we can use, like a number. And with that, we can figure out how the universe works. So when I was finishing my undergrad at uni, a huge discovery came out in astrophysics. They discovered that the expansion of the universe is speeding up. Gravity is pushing instead of pulling. We don't know why. So that is how I veered into studying this thing called dark energy, which is the name we give to whatever is causing the expansion of the universe to speed up. And one of the cool things I got to do was after my PhD, I got recruited by a team that would eventually go on to win the Nobel Prize for having discovered this acceleration of the universe and work with them to confirm the initial discovery and then measure it in many different ways. I didn't know what I wanted to do when I grew up, but I just kept doing the most interesting thing in front of me. I do remember as a kid seeing Halley's Comet. What amazed me most at the time was not the beauty or thing, that was, that was nice, but the fact that humans knew that that was gonna come around again every 75 years. The things you learn in astrophysics end up being applied to so many different jobs in the world around you. But even if you don't end up being an astrophysicist at the end, you're qualified for so many cool jobs, the demand for your skills is gonna be really high.